Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're jumping into Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross School. We're going to be diving in. Obviously, we have a third ticket that we were going to use in our last episode, but obviously, we need to split this up as much as I can to record videos back to back, ready for, obviously, the week ahead. And, uh, yeah, we're going to jump in. Obviously, hopefully, fingers crossed, we do well. Um, unfortunately, we lost in the last episode. In the very last second, an absolute stink of a misplay. You know, with Horse Raider being put into attack mode, I should have went defense, I would have been protected, unless there was a stop defense, which I don't think there would have been. But it happens. We're gonna jump in, let's not make the same mistake again, focus on our defense and uh, work with what we have. Okay. Interesting. Um, I normally run speed up on uh, or super speed on my dragon head, but for some reason I have uh, intimidate or yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna let it play out. I don't. I don't really care as much. See, I don't have to worry about the giant soldier of stone. I will play a monster in defense, but when I get a high enough defense monster. We have Wide Dragon Head coming through. Like, the thing is, obviously, I know everyone has their own way of playing and obviously different abilities, you know, and things like that. I, I try to avoid using what everyone else uses. Like, Wide Dragon Head, everyone has super speed on it to obtain the ace card, you know. And oh, we have to watch out for Exilibar. The inventor combo is absolutely crazy. Especially, I think, if he's running seven rows. I think seven rows is the card that um, plays that off. I think. All right, then. So no one's really gunning for me. Okay, rush recklessly. Obviously pushing forth. Okay, you're coming at me. I don't have a high enough defense to prevent against you. But this is the good thing about seeing people use all their spell cards. Is for the fact that you kind of have them deal with them straight away. The fact he has the ace card, it could be... Oh, agree. Oh, agree. They should add a card like that. If there was a, a card, because obviously everyone would run it, but also it would make it very interesting, you know. But then also you could be like, well, that's technically, you know, blah, 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 this and that, whatever. What's your defense? 1,200, okay. This is where Intimidate comes in handy. Attack you, go defense mode. You're in defense, you ain't really gonna gun for me, but I'm gonna put Golem in there, and then I'm gonna push for this in attack mode. All right, sweet. So what I'm gonna do, I probably, it's across debate, 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 do, I don't know, it's a difficult one, because you don't wanna gun for everyone, because then everyone guns for you. So you wanna kinda of take it steady, and figure out, I think one-on-ones are probably uh, his best target. The worst he could probably have is maybe, what, you got Monster Reborn, Mirror Force. He would play Mirror Force if he had it. Um, Dark Hole, if possible, but using the Dark Hole is own monster. So, yeah. I don't know. Wow, jeez. Why Dragon Head? Ooh, Sword and Shield. Okay. The more cards people use. Anytime I see a spell caster that increases by his attack and defense by spell cards. Avoid. Avoid at all costs. I can't believe that last video. Absolutely mental. But yeah, here we go. Intimidate, activate, change it. Defense mode, put it on 12. We attack and destroy. Well, technically, I should have put White Dragon Head in defense mode. And then that way... It would have played off better for me. But it's fine. Mate, this, uh, Tola Jacket. Was it? Tola Jacket? Jacket? Is, uh, he, he is the death. He is hunting. He's being hunted, sorry. Ring of Destruction is another trap card. That could be a possible play. Ring of Destruction. I was just trying to think of all the ace cards. I think it's Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Mirror Force, Ring of Destruction. I think that's it. But yeah. Okay. Turn 2 is up. Not a problem. It's above a knight. 
See, I don't want to summon all our monsters in one lane just in case it comes back to backfire, but I don't know what Tolage Alishakar, whatever his name is, is running. One on one, I'm debating. Because if Excalibur, Excalibur, it just made me think of Sword Earth. Uh, Is it Soul Emblem? I can't remember what the game was called. But yeah. Um, okay. You're going to put that into attack mode. You're going to attack. Oh, do I go? Actually, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, they get to change it in time. There we go. There's Seven's Road. Is that coming? Oh, no, it's not coming for me. That's fine. Honestly, I had to tribute. Whoa, Red Dragon Arch feed. We have to clear that up. I tell you what, this blue white play was probably our best play yet. We have to get rid of that. It's going to destroy all defenses, which means the whole field's going to get wiped. I have to get rid of it. Goodbye. Tell you what, the last minute play may have saved us. I always get the aces out of me. Goodbye. That gives us a guaranteed 1800 increase in life points. The only problem is I want to blow eyes in defense mode. I mean, well, technically, even if he goes Dark Hole, I already have Shield Handler anyway. I have Shield Handler and Wall of Disruption. Dark Hole me, you destroy everything in the lane, but me because of Shield Handler. Ring of Destruction I counter as well, so I'm assuming, nah, there wouldn't even be a Ring of Destruction in the center area because, nah, this guy's dead. Okay, oh, that's annoying. Wait, what's your effect? Add a spell card from your graveyard. Whoa, okay. That's interesting. I don't know if to go for Exilla Bar, but I don't want to push too far. Because this, at this point, this is where I start gunning for all three, and it comes back and bites me in the ass. And I'm hiding behind Wall of Disruption. We'll hold it out for one turn. Yeah, we'll hold it out. The way I view it is I have enough life points to take over, even if we hold out the next four turns. Um, I'm expecting a defense monster. We do reduce it by, I think it's 200, 300. Okay, that's good. Even if it is like Giant Soldier of Stone or something like that. Spark, man, 1200 defense, 1400 defense. Mate, I don't even know. Mate, my maths is just being thrown off. Okay, this is good because I'm expecting that to be Mirror Force. Now he's played this card face down. I think, mate, this duel's over. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wait, do you not? Okay. I could activate my spell card here. I am protected against destruction, so the only thing that can really counter me is Wall of Disruption, where we'll lose 500 for each monster, obviously, in the lane, which we'll lose 1,000. Still hit for 26, so it's not bad. But we'll see, we'll see. Shield and Sword. Okay. Ooh. Well played. I actually probably should have seen that coming, to be honest. I saw him pick up the card. Freddy. I was too focused on one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Even if he starts to come in, coming for me for the attack, it's not a problem. Go on, activate your trap. Nothing. There's nothing worse, man. This is why I have to... I have to... I look at all the cards that are beneficial for my deck, and I'm like, will this work? If I don't have anything, will it work? No. Okay, can't run it. You know. And it's that type of play that, obviously, I kind of worry about. I have to make sure whatever card I pull when I have no cards is essential and beneficial. Defensive, offensive, you know. have to. You know?
there are some plays that I probably could change. I could probably go uh, Z Metal Tank with Cohesion. Oh no. Oh no, I'm in, not in the lane, it's fine. He's 1500 attack. It's interesting because. I, I, are you. I say I used to. I, I built a deck like that and I considered running it. But it's just. It's unreliable. It really is. It's just straight up unreliable. When you can run Wall of Disruption, which does the same job. Just has to be attacked directly. Yeah, bring a destruction. Wow. If he played that earlier, he would have had my blue eyes in the firing line. And he would have protected himself. See, this is the difficult thing about these trap cards. Yeah, Shadow Spell, obviously, Ring of Destruction, Trap Hole. You don't know when to play them. Do you save them and then obviously hope they don't summon their ace? Or do you summon it early and pick up one of their shipping monsters? Especially compulsory evacuation device. I don't think I run that trap card anymore in this deck. I used to, to cover the ace card. But, nah. Right, I think we promote, actually. Oh, no, we're just a little bit under. Wow, three points from promotion. All right, okay, let's do this. I'm hoping we should promote in this episode. I'm hoping. Obviously, it puts us on 300. To get to Platinum, we need 180. I don't think we're going to finish this season with Platinum, if I'm being completely honest. It's way too much of a grind. Um, the only thing I can think of is, obviously, next month, when the new season starts, I think we'll be okay. Obviously, in Master Door, we're running the Blue Eyes deck, obviously. Um, we're going to be starting in Platinum. No, we're going to start in Gold, sorry. Yeah. So that would be interesting. Base two or higher to promote your rank. Wow, how thoughtful. But yeah, wrap this up. Obviously, after this duel, and then I'm going to go get sorted and do it, get some bits. I've got a big day today. I need to go find everything. Uh, God. Jeez. I need, to, uh, I need to get my bum into gear. I'm thinking. I'm just trying to think of the easiest place. I need to get some close, obviously, because I'm going Rome, so... I I'm only going for three nights, so it's not, like, massively. I'm just debating whether to obviously just take joggers or just buy a pair of jeans, but... I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't really care what I'm wearing. Okay. Kanoo, Chan, Grey Word, and Lens. Let's see. Hmm. Well, we'll have speed on. Let's go Z Metal Tank. Wall of Disruption. Crap. Yeah, play that there and I'll end my turn. I'll take a chance. Sometimes you gotta take the chance. I love it though, because if someone has stopped defense, stop block attack, sorry, it's so good. Okay, we've got the lamb, we've got defensive there. Iron Gaze is in attack mode as well. Nice. All we have to do is get second place. Settle for second, that's it. Okay, so it's just a battle between me and you. Oh, I should win this then, unless there's someone... Another Inventor class. Is Inventor seems very popular. So we... Whoa. Got super speed as well. Alright, tiebreaker. Alright, ready. The thing is, I'm hoping. Um maybe dark hole. Yeah, dark hole. Ring of Destruction. Actually, uh, uh, funny enough, I've been saying Destruction, but I'll change the dark off. But yeah, even still, man, Ring of Destruction's solid. Okay. I'm going to set this trap there. Because I've got a feeling Greywood will probably bring his ace out at some point or another, so yeah. Persevere. See what we're dealing with and we'll work with it. 
Rise, giant soldier of stone! See, if I could find something that could decrease defense, it'd be pretty decent. Okay, which is a is that I immobilize. So at the end of the battle phase destroy this monster that makes no difference. Trying to work out my player. Everyone's still got quite a lot of cards. I think Lens is going to be our type. This is the problem with Inventor, in Inventor. It just, it doesn't benefit. Well, I am going to go, uh, I really want to go for Greywood, but. Too risky, too risky, too risky, too risky. Yeah, I'm going to hold out. Yeah, I'm going to hold out. We're going to hold out for a turn. We'll work it out and see what we got. While there's nothing in your proximity, I would advise not to play a card. To be fair, I probably should get a haircut as well. I might just ask for it to shave all over again. Let's look at it, man. Jesus. I look like a newborn baby. Okay. Keanu, you are starting to grind my gears, darling. And I'm going to fucking kick your ass in a minute. I just wanted to bring, bring your race out first. No. Wait, actually. I'll do that next turn. Because then it will destroy itself and leave, obviously. Okay. See, this is the thing. You just sit back and watch people battle it out, use all their cards, and just save yours. That's my advice for playing this. Get your defense down, get obviously what you need to do. The only thing you really need to gun for is the ace if you really need the ace, but it's not really massively major. Okay, Draconet as well. See, this person's still not playing cards, man. Hmm. I'm gonna. We're ready up. I'm gonna play a card, yep. You know what, actually? I just realised. Oh, no, actually, no. I was gonna summon it and let it build up its attack. But nah, 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 nah. Screw that. Unless it's in the right lane. I, like, I don't. Me and Greywood got no beef, mate. He ain't even coming for me, so I ain't even, don't even care about him. Alright, let's go with this spell card, which you to 8700. Chan is dying. We're going for Chan. Wow. Oh my god, shit. Yo, we need to start pushing forward on Lens, man. Lens has got nothing going on for her. At this rate, Greywood's going to be taking the lead. We only need second place anyway, so if I can get second place, oh, I'll take it. But if obviously Lens ends up beating them, me and Kano, Kaneo, is it? Kanoa? Oa? Kanoa? Yo, shit. Yeah, we need to, uh, we need to fucking sort our shit out now. We need to push forward. All out attack. We need some life points. Right, okay, enough of this. Right, based on this play, I'm going to push you forward. You've still got a full set of hand, but I don't know. I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go Boss Raider here. I need this to go, to be honest. I'm going to ready up. Let's hope Karma isn't a bitch, eh? Right. The way this is going, Lens is in a very tight spot unless they go Ace. And Noah's still got fucking decent cards. Grey word, mate. 
I think I've just settled a bloody argument with him. It's fine. Obviously, Ball Trader's going to gain attack at the end of the battle phase. I think it's 400, but it's manageable. I can obviously bring it forward. He will attack me, destroy me, lose 800. And then I can start playing, actually, some out play cards. Well, not out play cards, but yeah. Some cards that can benefit. Um... I probably sh I, I probably should have actually went for Kano with the uh, with the uh, Ring of Destruction because then that way it would have guaranteed a thousand damage to her. Okay, detonate, activate. Oh, okay. Times two. So when it does attack Neos and destroys, you reduce it by one thousand. Except it's in defense mode, which doesn't really actually make any sort of beneficial. Oh wow, well, yes it does. It loses attack and defense. I thought it was just based upon the position it was in. Okay. Come on, we gotta get there, we gotta get there now. Why are you not taking battle damage? What the fuck is going on? Oh, that's because it's uh that's because of this ability. What it's been assigned to is kind of flip battle damage. Yo, this guy's made this person's about to get fucking sandwiched. Yo, we need to get some life point damage. I think we're fine. No, nah, we're fine, we're fine. As long as my dragon head doesn't get stopped in its path, we're fine. We're going to go blue eyes. We're going to go blue eyes. We're going to destroy the monster. Then we're going to open up and attack directly. This Vorse Raider can swivel. Although my Vorse Raider is actually going in. So if Greywood obviously doesn't play a card, we might be able to attack directly. Of course Greywood's going to play a card. Jesus. Although, what if I destroy Greywood's monster with blue eyes instead? And then I can attack directly on Greywood. And still take second place. If maybe first place. Okay. Based upon this play... I'm going to tribute you. Tribute you. I'm going to bring Blue Eyes out in defense mode. I'm going to tribute. Then I'm going to send out. Name my turn. I take. I bit the bullet. I'm taking a chance there. Although, hypothetically, I could not destroy someone's skull, let it push forward, but it would just destroy Boss Raid before it even gets destroyed anyway. So. Boss Raid. Attack it directly. Right. Sorry, mate. No hard feelings, yeah? No beef. I just need some fucking life points. Can't afford to take second place. Oh, third place. Second place. Whatever. Oh, no. He made me lose defense. Oh, no. <laughs> what, a, what a tragic ending. This is interesting, man. I've got a clean sweep. If I, if White Dragon Head can push forward on lenses, obviously we've got two monsters. Oh shit! I don't think I'm going to get any life points off lenses. I'm banking on Greywood. Yeah, that's that's life points out. There's no damage for me on the White Dragon Head. My only life point damage is coming from obviously 1900, which I want to say doing the math, it probably isn't too bad. But what it puts me on 6,100 and puts him. I think I might take first place here, you know. Yeah. Oh no, wait. Oh no! Kanoa! You mother... She took the win. I was like, what? Kanoa's there, like, hiding in the shadows, like, fucking getting ready to assassinate us. I can't believe she won. Unbelievable. On the outside, we promoted. We are now goal two. 180 points away from platinum. Fuck me. Game is a fucking grind. Mate, 380 to promote. Jesus. Thing is, I've got to come home later and record a bunch more of these videos solely for the fact that it needs to be done. But yeah, I'm going to uh, wrap things up here. I'm going to go and obviously spend some money. Um, but yeah, I was going to open some pack. I, if we can get 200 gems, I'll open a pack before we wrap up. But obviously, we'll see. I don't know if it's going to give me any gems. They're just kind of materials. I've got 10 there, they don't do anything. And then obviously some extra bits there. All right, no worries. Um, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to take care of yourself. See you guys next time. Peace.